Happy Hump Day, everybody! Yes. Hump Day. <laughs> <laughs> Rob's been talking about that commercial all morning. He's like, I You're gonna just get can't tired get this of out of my Wednesdays head. Wednesdays when I keep saying that over and over. <laughs> it is pretty funny though. Until it the is. end of time. You don't know what we're talking about. That great commercial with the camel. It's a Geico commercial. It's like yeah. almost ten years ago. Check it out. Everybody. Hopefully, everybody knows hopefully, what, what we're talking but, about. You know, you never know. <laughs> it's like a legendary <laughs> commercial. Um. So. Yes. Uh, Rob had an outstanding question for everybody uh, on our Facebook page today because, of course, even though it's a little delayed, we have the Masters here on CBS 46 uh, this weekend. So Rob figured out a way to tie this in the food. Yes. Uh, this is, look, I love this topic. I, I was excited to tell Roddy. I texted him at like four this morning. I'm like, hey, man, I have an idea for a topic for our Facebook. He also live. kept coming to the Center. He's like, is Roddy here yet? Is Roddy here yet? Like, like a kid one, on one Christmas. One time, I'll have you know, one time, Ella is uh, exaggerating. Uh, just kidding. But, so it's the, it's the uh, champion's dinner was last night. Mm -hmm. It's a master's tradition. Every year, the champion gets to pick the menu from, uh, for, for his champion's dinner, and all the past champions are invited, not not just the normal golfers, only champions. So Tiger, of course, won the last Masters, and this is a look at his menu. So I thought it was a little unique, because you can pick whatever you want. He put sushi on the menu, and they're calling it, uh, what, the Augusta roll. That Ooh, makes sense. Yes. Uh, yeah, so you got some shrimp and some tuna in there. He also did prime steak and chicken fajitas, the mm. dessert. Uh, you can see then there's a couple different... Uh, very specific uh, bottles of wine. Don't don't know much about wine myself, but uh, I'm sure uh, if it's Tiger that it's very delicious. And uh, yeah, just think it's so. The question is, I think to the people watching is, what would you, if you were the Masters champion, uh, do for your champion's dinner? Now you can truly pick anything, and Augusta National will deliver. Yeah. Wow. So let, let's set the ground rules. This is basically like your last meal, but yeah. you're not going to die. Like you, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly. whatever you want to eat. You get to enjoy it. Didn't Nothing's talk, off the table. Like no, we, we can eat whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. We kind of talked about it once, but not this, but kind of what our, <laughs> like what your final meal would be. So, but right? I didn't know anything about this. So can you give me some background real quick? So it's everyone that's ever won before the Na Masters gets to come to that dinner every year? Correct. So like Tiger obviously has been going since his first victory right. in 1997. In fact, even when he was injured and not playing for a couple of years, he came to Augusta just to partake in the champion's dinner while his back was injured and he didn't even play in the tournament. So, wow. yeah, it's all, all uh, former former champions and then, like, some chairman of Augusta National. Yeah. And what, who, so what do, who makes like the food? You know, that's, know? that's interesting. I don't actually know that. I bet some, like, I bet that information's out there. My guess is Augusta National, if they can't do it themselves, mm -hmm. and they probably, for the most part, do it themselves. They're known for their food at the clubhouse in general, mm -hmm. um, that they find a way and bring someone in who knows how wow. to do it. So. So I does this dinner happen? Sorry, I have 18 questions. Yeah. <laughs> does this dinner happen right after, like the day after? The no, no. Winner? This happened last night for it's the champions dinner. It's okay. like leading up to each tournament, and right. it's the pre, the past year's champion that gets to select. So you have all year to decide you what you want to mm. eat. You do. And every year we kind of like us golf fans like look at the. You know, we want to see what the menu is, and then we dissect it and like judge people <laughs> on it because there's been some interesting ones in the past. Is there judge and everybody going on? has to eat that, for, so it's like yes, you pick, yeah. but everybody so what has if you to don't eat. Like it? sushi, you know. What if well, so they have like chicken sushi? and steak fajitas oh, okay. here. So right. usually right. there's a, a cup, like one or two, like you know one extra option, or mm -hmm. there's a couple different courses, and then there's dessert on there. Of course, oh, you know, so, yum! So yeah, like I'll, I'll start tomahawk ribeye, medium rare garlic mashed potatoes, Brussels sprouts, some kind of corn, and then I'm going to go with cheesecake. Ah, oh, yeah. And uh, big shout out to my favorite brewery in Charlotte, uh, Juicy J Beer. Yeah, that, that'll oh, be the beverage. Nice. Yeah. What about you, Rod? Uh, you want me to go next? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so there's no ground rules. You can, it Pick can be as big as you If there are. I don't know them if there okay. are. Okay. I would go with um, catfish, um, a side of... Fried catfish, right? Uh, fried catfish. Mm -hmm. Is there any other way? No. Right. <laughs> a side of uh, chicken and dressing, um, mashed potatoes with gravy, oh. uh, a chicken fry, um, yams. Um, what else do I want? Um, Sounds you know like you're those just having little, Thanksgiving dinner. You know those things <laughs> that you have? Um, like, is it the crab ragoon uh, yes. that you get? I get some of that. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this is like a mishmash. Yeah, but it's whatever you want. That's why right, I asked. Right, That's what okay. I can think of now. Cheesecake so like you've Rob. So you this into like a borderline buffet. I don't know. <laughs> it's, I asked. You said dinner and whatever I suppose want. that there I probably has the been a buffet rules. in the past, if I had to guess. Um, and cheesecake 
and Hennessy would be my beverage. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. So I'm looking at like the previous people. Yeah, um, there's some interesting ones. And, and a lot of them did their their national dishes. Right. So British guy wins. He's doing potatoes and mash. Sergio Garcia won in 2018. He did a bunch of Spanish in, infused dishes, lobster rice. Oh, Here's one, a Canadian yum. one, Mike Weir in 2004. He yep. did elk and wild boar. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So there that are some good. Bubba's a, Bubba oh. Watson is pretty boring. He won in 2013. He did a grilled chicken breast with green beans, mashed potatoes, oh, corn, know, macaroni, and cheese. I love cheese. grilled chicken yeah. breast for regular dinner, but that is not yeah. where I'm going. Come on. And then, and then the when meal. he won again, he did the same menu oh, again. Oh, no. No, I can't if do I the meal. If I showed up to that and I'm like, I'm eating a chicken <laughs> breast right now, I'd no. be so mad. All right. No. Sorry, Bubba no. Boo. Bubba. Tiger did uh, burgers and fries and milkshakes for the first time he won when he was like, you know, what, 20 something years old. That's like a 20 something year old. Like, yeah, yeah why not? Right. I'd, um, I'd probably, you know, Rodney, my big thing, like my final meal would be that smothered steak and all that. Oh, with yeah. mashed but I think about that. for the Masters, maybe a filet mignon, mm. medium rare, mm -hmm. garlic mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're maybe kind of on the same cheese, page here. <laughs> maybe goat cheese mashed potatoes. Ooh, you know, I like that even yeah. better, Kabir. Um, definitely something green, but not, not the crispy green beans, Ella. Okay. No crispy green beans. <laughs> you don't like the crispy beans. Ella, no. what, are you, what are you going um, with? Oh, no. dessert. Well, are you done? You I, think, I think probably a good cheesecake, the kind that crumples, not the, uh, not the too sweet cheesecake. Okay. Ella, and not the, the best sweet. wine on the planet. I, I don't know. This is really, really tough. Yeah. Probably something that I don't eat very often. I eat steak. I cook steak a lot. So I might do something like lobster. Oh, yeah. Oh, like full you win. lobster tails. Yeah. Um, it, with I'm, drawn butter. Phil Mickelson did lobster ravioli after his first Masters win. Yep, mm -hmm. something like so that. Um, and then a lot of candy for dessert. Chocolate, candy. chocolate <laughs> and candy. One of those chocolate fountains. Oh, chocolate. For and, sure. Yeah, like a chocolate mousse. Yep. I did respond to your tweet, though, this morning, Rob, because, you know, with all this talk of all this fabulous, awesome food, if anybody's going to Augusta, you can just bring me an egg salad sandwich. Well, they don't have, they're not right having brand. anyone, any fans. I know, but whatever. That's what they I They will in that's April. Here's I the will. other cool part about that. Egg salad. Not only do we still get the Masters this year, we get two Masters in less than six months. Yeah. I'm too uh, happy. For I don't even to have wait. to wait that long after <laughs> this tournament's over. I have something to look forward to. Right. Oh, you know what? Someone on Twitter responded, and this actually it was right up my alley. Cover the tables with newspaper and dump dozens of Maryland steamed crabs with Old Bay seasoning. If you guys have not been to Maryland or Baltimore and eaten crabs with newspaper, cracking them open Done with it. the shell, tearing them, it's a whole experience. It's that too is much incredible. work, though, Ella. It isn't too <laughs> much it's work. A lot of you, trying to. Are you joking me? Well, because you're drinking <laughs> beer while you're doing it, so by the time you eat a crab, you've drank a whole oh, beer. So I it kind of goes. Love the idea. I'm okay with it. that. I love seafood. Love crab. Have right. not done that. Ooh, I, that's Rob. on the bucket list. Yeah, for sure. a lot Definitely. of work, but it's worth it. We got uh, hatch. By the way, <laughs> Ella with the lobster is so far my favorite. Yes. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Uh, well, on you our can do, Facebook you know what you page, can do? you can do surf and turf. So you get you can right, do both. Okay. You get the you lobster and both. the steak. Yeah. Uh, Hatcher, Sheila uh, on our Facebook page says, ribeye, baked potato, yeah. salad, That's what's up. corn on the cob, and rolls. Uh, Michael on our Facebook page says, fried chicken, green beans, rice, and peach cobbler. How do we forget peach about cobbler. peach cobbler? Oh. And they've done fried chicken. I'm trying to think. Someone recent did fried chicken. Banana um, pudding. Oof. Oh, yeah. Banana pudding. Uh, <laughs> Keep in mind, you're going to so be food. judged for your, your choices, too, because this menu, like I said, gets out every year. They publicize it. Uh -huh. So not only do you, you, you have to think about what you may want, but if you're that type of person, you're like, also, hey, I might get judged for this. So no Bubba Watson grilled chicken? Ah, right. <laughs> no. I can tell you that the other champions don't want him to win again if that's his <laughs> choice again. Uh, we got Tangela who says steak, lobster, asparagus? Yeah. Garlic mashed potatoes. Oh. Uh, Patrick says baked chicken, rice, green peas, apple pie, rolls, and sweet tea. Well, we got a lot of southern yeah. food on here. <laughs> Love this. <laughs> yeah. Love this. I like the sweet tea too. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, great topic, Rob. That, now you got everybody hungry. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go eat my, my lunch. <laughs> and, Alrighty then. And don't forget the Masters, a tradition on CBS. Unlike any other. Unlike any other. As our friend Jim Nance would say. Yes. Saturday, uh, what is it? Saturday and Sunday it moves to CBS. Yes. All uh, right. So yep. with, within all like the football coverage. I'll be helping the ratings this weekend. I can assure you that. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. happy Wednesday, everybody. And eat good today. Eat, eat good as we watch.
Thanks, Is that Scott. your golf voice?